Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And as a lot of you know, I did move a little bit ago and I have been home quite a bit lately. So I figured it's time to add some smart home tech into my apartment. And I have some of it around me, including this very large monitor behind me, but also some of these boxes. And these are all from Xiaomi. I have to give a big thanks to Xiaomi for sponsoring this video and sending over all of these smart home tech devices for us to check out. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of them and see all of the tech upgrades I've made to my home. Let's get started. Let's start with the big one behind me. This is the Mi Curved Gaming Monitor at 34 inches and it is an ultra wide, so a 3440 by 1440 resolution. It has a 1500R curvature and like I said, it is a gaming monitor. So it has a 144 Hertz refresh rate and AMD FreeSync Premium. And I have to say, with that 1440p resolution and 144 hertz, that is the sweet spot for me in gaming right now. Now this Mi Curve monitor overall is really sleek and minimal. I like the matte black look to it. The base is fairly simple, but just gives it a more professional look. The back stand has cable management built in, so you can hide those cables, and the back plate actually has a magnet built in. It overall just feels really premium. And don't worry, you can completely cover up all of the ports in the back. This Mi monitor is easily adjustable. You can change the height, the tilt, rotate it, and if you'd like to, you can even wall mount this monitor. So of course, watching ultra wide videos is pretty incredible. You have so much screen real estate to work with, especially because of that resolution 3440 by 1440. And not only can you take advantage of that huge screen real estate with one input, you can actually use two inputs at once with this monitor. They have a split screen mode where you're gonna have an input on one on each side. However, another great one is actually the picture in picture mode. And here's an example in the main input source, I have my desktop plugged in. And then in the picture in picture slot that I have chosen, I have my Mi TV stick plugged in and you can use them both simultaneously. You can just have two things going on at once. Really cool, you can take advantage of multiple inputs on this monitor. So that would be the Xiaomi Mi Curved Gaming Monitor. I will link to all of these different products down below if you are interested in checking them out. But it is a smart home, so I'm not just in my office at all time. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other devices. Let's take a look at the Mi Smart Kettle Pro. And this has actually impressed me. It is a one and a half liter smart kettle and the base will heat up the liquids inside. Now this is actually a smart kettle, so you'll see on the outside it does have a temperature gauge to let you know what temperature the liquid inside is at. Once you fill up the kettle, you can set it on the base and on the handle you can just press the boil button and it will start to boil the liquid that you have inside. And then once it hits a certain temperature that you want it at, you can serve it whenever. And then when you put it back on the base, it actually can keep the liquid inside warm and you can set different temperatures to keep it warm at. There's five different settings for that. Now this can all be done on the kettle itself. However, what makes it so smart is that you can control it within the Mi Smart Home app. Within the Mi Home app, just select the Mi Smart Kettle Pro and you can watch and see what the temperature is actually at. And notice how fast it actually rises. It's crazy how fast uh, the liquid actually heats up. But anyways, you can change the temperature on the fly within the app. You can change the duration of how long you want it to keep warm and what temperature that keep warm setting is at. It's really been great how quickly it heats up the liquid and keeps it warm throughout the day so I can have multiple cups of tea throughout the day. Moving over to the family room, let's take a look at the Mi TV stick, which is very compact. You'll see it does plug into an HDMI port, whether it's on your TV or a monitor. And like I mentioned earlier, you can use the Mi TV stick with that Mi Curve monitor we showed earlier. It's fully compatible. The stick does have Android TV built into it, which means that Chromecast is built in. And since it runs Android TV, you also get a remote, which is always convenient to have with Android TV. The remote has various controls, but it has a Google Assistant button built in. So you can launch the voice assistant, ask it specific questions, or launch various apps, and a couple streaming service shortcuts. Thankfully, they even include an HDMI extension cable, so if this form factor, for whatever reason, doesn't fit in the HDMI slot, you can just use the extension cable. It's great that the Mi TV stick has the full Android TV experience. It gives you access to all of the latest apps, any of the streaming services that you're looking for, and of course, since it's Android TV, you can even play some games on it. 
While using it, the Mi TV Stick has had reliable 1080p streaming, and while swapping between apps and using the interface, I haven't seen any hiccups. The performance has been really good. And personally, I use Chromecast all the time, so it's great that the Mi TV Stick has it built in, whether I'm using a bunch of different apps on my phone or even casting from a browser on my PC. And the remote has been great. It's been very consistent and snappy, along with having that Google Assistant button up towards the top with the microphone built in. You can just ask the Google Assistant a ton of different questions and get visual responses on whatever monitor or TV screen that you're using your Mi TV Stick with. And our final product brings us all the way back to the office because that's where I keep it. It is the Mi Smart Speaker. However, you can put it just about anywhere in your house. The Mi Smart Speaker has the Google Assistant built in and I have to say, considering its size, the speakers are actually really good. This is a 12 watt speaker and it's been DTS professionally tuned. So while I'm shooting B-roll and different things around my office, I actually like to have music playing. But of course, it has the Assistant built in so I can control a bunch of different lights. I have ceiling lights. I like to change different colors on them with just my voice. I can turn them on and off. I can change the thermostat to control the temperature if it gets a little cold in here. It does have Bluetooth built into it, so you can actually play audio through it without having to use your Wi-Fi. And another nice touch is the controls up towards the top, so you don't just have to use your voice, but you can actually go ahead and control the audio just from the controls on the speaker. Anyways, those are all of the smart home tech upgrades I have made. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's always fun when I have videos talking about a bunch of different tech products. So big thanks again to Xiaomi for sending these all over for us to take a look at. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think and let me know which one of these tech products you like the most. I have to say, I never thought I'd be doing a video on a smart kettle, but here we are. Anyways, that is it for now. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.